Hello kiddos, we're on chapter 19, um, Oncology, Cancer Medicine. This is something that is going to be around for a long time as cancer research is getting better, but unfortunately um, cancer is something that we just haven't figured out the exact mechanism of how to get rid of just yet. Now, there is some new research out there um, called immunotherapy, which is really uh, promising. Uh, but what that requires is, and I'll show you a, a link in the announcement section of how cancer works. Um, take a look at that and some of the new uh, therapies out there. Uh, but let's take a look, uh, identify medical terms that describe the growth and spread of tumors. We're going to recognize terms related to the causes, diagnosis, and treatment of cancer. Uh, review how tumors are classified and described by pathologists. Um, we're going to describe x-ray studies, lab tests, and other procedures used by physicians for determining the presence and extent of the spread. Staging, make sure you know that for the quiz. Apply your knowledge to understanding medical terms. So cancer, the definition is characterized by unrestrained and excessive growth of cells. So it's mitosis on crack is what I usually refer to it. Now malignant tumors compress, invade, and destroy surrounding tissues. Cancer is responsible for 20% of all deaths in the United States. More than half of people who develop cancer are cured. So there is some promise uh, there. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I lost my dad to cancer last year. He had mouth and throat cancer. Um, so this is a very dear topic to me. Uh, unfortunately, he did not survive. Um, he struggled with it for several years and he tried all sorts of, you know, radiation, chemotherapy, immunotherapy. Unfortunately, it just didn't work for him. Um, but more than half of people do do develop, uh, um, they can be cured. So which cancers are the most common causes of cancer death for women? Well, let's see. That is going to be lung, breast, and colorectal. A. Hey. Which cancer are the most common cause for cancer death for men? That's lung, colorectal, and prostate. Okay, so if you look at the the difference between men and women, really, breast for women, prostate uh, for men, but really, lung and colorectal are the top two among either genders. Okay, environmental agents you have chemical carcinogens, radiation, uh, viruses, uh, RNA and DNA, oncogenes. Make sure you know what oncogenes are. Uh, um, the colon cancer, lymphoma, um, chronic myelogenous leukemia. So those are the genes that are associated with that. Hereditary, um, you can get retinoblastoma or polyposis uh, coli. So chemical carcinogens would be what? Cigarette smoke, exhaust, insecticides, etc., etc. Um, natural sources of radiation, too much sunlight, x-rays, etc. And then oncogenes are basically pieces of normal DNA that cause normal cells to become malignant when some mutation occurs. Uh, so here's genes implicated in hereditary cancers, uh, breast and ovarian, uh, BRCA1. So you can actually uh, get tested for this uh, um, prior to if you want to see what your chances are. Now, just because you have the gene doesn't mean that you automatically get it. Um, so it can cause concern as well. You're thinking you have this, but you might live your whole life and not get it. So sometimes too much information is not good as well. Uh, but that is, uh, you can do a genetic screening for yourself or your significant other. Uh, carcinomas or epithelial cell or, or in origin. 90% of all malignancies are carcinomas. Um, if you look at the carcinomas and epithelial tissues from which they derive, so if we look at the GI tract from colon, they arise adenocarcinoma of the colon, esophagus, you get esophageal carcinomas, uh, liver, you got hepatocellular carcinomas, stomach, you get gastric adenocarcinomas, um, and then you can get adrenal glands. So breast is usually carcinoma of the breast, uh, pancreas, prostate, carcinoma of the prostate, so those are those are common ones, but then you can also get skin um, malignant melanomas of melanocytes. Uh, that's very common skin cancer. Sarcomas are connective tissue origin, uh, five percent of all malignancies. So the difference is ninety percent are epithelial tissues, and then only five percent are connective tissue. 
But so these are very rare. Like if you've heard about osteosarcoma, Ewing's sarcoma, um, liposarcomas, fibrosarcomas, angiosarcomas, and but you have probably heard of uh, any kind of leukocyte, uh, which are leukemias. Um, and if they involve the lymphocytes, then you've got Hodgkin disease, non-Hodgkin lymphomas, uh, follicular diffuse large cells. Um, you can get embryonic nerve tissue, which are neuroblastomas. So these are rare, five, less than 5% of all malignancies. So when they are rare, they're harder to treat, unfortunately. Um, kidney, uh, you can have Wilms tumor, ovaries and testes. You can have a teratoma, uh, which is tumor composed of bone, muscle, skin, glands, cartilage. Pathological descriptions, um, some, you can be cystic, fungating, inflammatory, medullary, necrotic, polypoid, ulcerating, ferocious. Uh, pathological descriptions that are microscopic. So this is more gross, like you can see it with the naked eye. These are more microscopic, so alveolar, carcinoma in situ, diffuse, dysplastic, epermoid, follicular, nodular, Cap papillary, serous, undifferentiated. So make sure you know what categories they're in. And so carcinoma in situ would be microscopic, whereas gross, you can describe them as fungating, necrotic, etc. The grade is degree of maturity or differentiation under the microscope. Stage is the extent of spread. Make sure you know the stages. Um, so international staging system for lung cancer. Um, NO would be no nodule involvement. N1 would be ipsilateral. N2 ipsilateral mediastinal nodes. N3 would be contralateral mediastinal. Um, that's for regional, but distant metastases would be M, no metastases. M1 would be metastasis present. So yeah, make sure you know what that is. And TNM means tumor node metastases. Uh, debulking procedures. So how do you treat the uh, cancer, right? So here's a surgery. Uh, maybe used to remove as much of the primary tumor mass as possible, called the debulking procedure. Adjuvant is radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Uh, so after removal of primary tumor to prevent reoccurrence, you would have that. So my dad had removal of his mandible, but then they did radi radiation and chemotherapy right afterwards. And he was good for two years. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's hard to get every little bit. And so the small bit that did stay, it came back. Uh, cauterization, you can do core needle biopsy. You can do cryosurgery. Uh, you can do M block resection, excisional biopsy, uh, fine needle aspiration. You can do fulguration, incisional biopsy. So those are different types of surgeries you can do. Um, now radiation, there's all sorts of radiation you can do, uh, brachytherapy, electron beams, external beam radiation, fields, fractionation, gray, linear, photon, proton, radio curable, radio resistant tumors, radio sensitive tumors, radio sensitizers, simulation. So what you want to do is, I just need you to know the categories, right? So these are some categories of surgeries. These are some categories of radiation therapy that you can do. Obviously, you don't need to know what exactly what a, what a you know, fractation is or what it is, but you should know that, hey, that's a part of a radiation therapy. Um, now, you should know these for sure, which are the radiation side effects. So alopecia means baldness. Fibrosis means increase in connective tissue. Infertility, inability to contribute to conception of a child. Mucositis, inflammation and ulceration of mucus. Myelosuppression, bone marrow depression. Uh, nausea, vomiting, pneumonitis, secondary tumors, Xerostomia, dryness of the mouth. That's very common. Uh, chemotherapy, biological therapy, and differentiating agents, alkylating agents, antibiotics, antimetabolites, antimyotics, hormonal agents. Um, again, these are just cancer chemotherapy agents and the cancers they treat. Uh, you definitely don't have to memorize this uh, for sure. Um, this is just FYI. Again, FYI. All right, so let's look at some vocabulary. So adjuvant chemotherapy, assisting primary treatment, alkylating agents, synthetic chemicals containing alcohol groups that attack the DNA, anaplasia, loss of differentiation of cells, 
angiogenesis, process of forming new blood vessels. Make sure you know that one. Antibiotics, chemicals produced by bacteria or primitive plants, inhibit growth of cells. Antimetabolites, chemicals that prevent cell division, inhibit formation of substances needed to make DNA. Antimitotics, drugs that block cell division. Apoptosis, programmed cell death. A benign tumor. Make sure you know the difference between benign and malignant. So benign is a non-cancerous growth. Biological response modifiers produced by normal cells directly block, block tumor growth or simulate immune system to fight cancer. Biological therapy. Use of body's own defenses to destroy tumor cells. Uh, brachytherapy. Use of radiation placed directly on or within cancer. Carcinogens. Agents that cause cancer. Carcinoma. Cancerous tumor made up of cells of epithelial origin, cellular oncogenes, you should know this, pieces of DNA activated by mutations or dislocation that can cause a normal cell to become malignant. Uh, you should know chemotherapy, that's treatment uh, with drugs. Combination chemotherapy, use of several chemotherapeutic agents together in treatment of tumors. Differentiation, loss of differentiation of cells. Uh, you definitely know DNA, genetic material within the nucleus of a cell, control cell division and protein. Uh, so we have 46 uh, chromosomes, okay, 23 from mama, 23 from papa. Uh, differentiating agents, drugs that promote tumor cells to differentiate, stop growing, and die. Differentiation, specialization of cells, electron beams, low energy beams of radiation for treatment of skin or surface tumors. Encapsulated means surrounded by a capsule. Benign tumors are encapsulated. External beam irradiation. All right. Again, differentiation, specialization of cells, electron beams, low energy beams of radiation for treatment of skin or surface tumors. Make sure you know that. Uh, fields, dimensions of body areas undergoing irradiation, uh, fractionization, giving radiation in small repeated doses, genetic screening, testing family members to determine if they have inherited a cancer-causing gene, grading tumors, evaluating the degree of maturity of tumor cells. Gray, GY, means a unit of absorbed radiation dose. Gross description of tumors, visual appearance of tumors to the naked eye. Infiltrate, uh, extending beyond normal tissues, beyond the boundaries into adjacent tissues. We don't like that. Invasive, having the ability to enter and destroy surrounding tissue. Radiation, uh, exposure to any form of radiant energy such as light, heat, or x-rays. Linear accelerator, a large electronic device that produces high energy x-ray beams for treatment of deep-seated tumors. Uh, definitely know what the definition of a malignant tumor is. That's a tumor having the characteristics of continuous growth, invasiveness, and metastasis. Uh, mesenchymal, embryonic connective tissue. Metastasis. So make sure you know what a malignant tumor is, but also what metastasis means. That's the spread of a malignant tumor to a secondary site. Uh, microscopic description of tumors, appearance of tumors when viewed under a microscope. Mitosis, replication of cells. So cancer is mitosis on crack. Um, mixed tissue tumors, tumors composed of different types of tissue. Modality, method of treatment such as surgery, chemotherapy, or irradiation. Molecularly targeted therapy, anti-cancer drugs designed to block the function of growth factors, their receptors, and signaling pathways in specific tumor cells. Morbidity, make sure you know what this means, condition of being unwell, deficient in normal function. So people that are uh, getting affected with coronavirus, they usually have a lot of comorbidities. Comorbidities mean they have diabetes, they have lupus, they have all this other stuff going on in conjunction with coronavirus, and those are the ones that are having difficulty. Um, mucinous, containing mucus. Mutation, change in DNA, may be spontaneous or caused by chemicals, radiation, or viruses. Uh, neoplasm, new growth, benign or malignant. Make sure you know the definition of neoplasm. Nucleotide, unit of DNA composed of sugar, phosphate, and a base. Oncogene, make sure you know what that is. Region of DNA in tumor cells or in viruses that causes cancer. Palliative, make sure you know what this means. Relieving but not curing symptoms. Pedunculated, possessing a stem or a stalk. Photon therapy, radiation therapy using energy in the form of x-rays. 
protocol. Make sure you know what a protocol is. It's a detailed plan for treatment of any illness. So a lot of things in medicine we have protocols. Proton therapy, use of protons produced by Clycotron to deposit a dose of radiation at a tightly focused point. Radiation, energy carried by a beam of particles. Radicular curable, tumor that is destroyed by radiation. Radio resistant, make sure you know what that means. That's a tumor that requires large doses of radiation. So radio curable is, it's destroyed, but radio resistant is you need a larger dose than usual. Uh, radio sensitive tumor in which radiation can cause the death of cells without serious damage to surrounding tissue. So we want to find a, 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 a cancer that is radio sensitive. Uh, radio sensitizers, drugs that increase the sensitivity of tumors. Radiotherapy, treatment of tumors using doses of radiation. Make sure you know what relapse means, recurrence of tumor after treatment. But also know what remission means, which is partial complete disappearance of symptoms. Um, RNA, cellular substance that represents copy of DNA. Sarcoma, cancerous tumor derived from connective or flesh tissue. Serious, having the appearance of a thin, watery fluid. Cecil, having no stem. Simulations, study using CT scan or MRI. Solid tumor, tumor composed of a mass of cells. Staging of tumors, system evaluating the extent of spread. Uh, Serioactic, uh, tactic, radiosurgery. Uh, delivery of dose of radiation under stereotactic uh, guidance. And steroids, complex naturally occurring chemicals derived from cholesterol. Surgical procedures to treat cancer, methods of removing cancerous tissue. Make sure you know what a viral oncogene is, piece of DNA from viruses that infect a normal cell and cause it to become malignant. A uh, virus infectious agent that reproduces by entering a host cell and using the host genetic material to copy itself. So viruses always need a, a host, bacteria doesn't. So that's the difference between a bacteria and a virus. Um, clinical procedures to detect, treat malignancies. You can do a bone marrow biopsy, CT scans, colonoscopy, cytochale, laparoscopy, mammography, MRI, needle biopsy. So you've seen these uh, tests that are ordered. Okay. Uh, some of the abbreviations, you've got AFP, alpha protein, ATRA, um, all trans retinoic acid, BMT, bone marrow transplantation, BRC, not beans, rice, and cheese. No, no, that's breakpoint cluster region. Uh, BX would be biopsy, CA is cancer, CA, carcinoma embryonic antigen, CGY, centigray, one hundredth of a gray, chemo, chemotherapy, CR, complete response, disappearance of all tumor, um, CSF, colony stimulating factor. Sometimes people get that with cerebral spinal fluid, but the CSF is also colony sp stimulating factor. DES, diethylospestrol, DNA, deoxyribolic nucleic acid. EGFR, epidermal growth factor receptor. ER, estrogen receptor. EPO, make sure you know what EPO is, erythropoietin. FNA, fine needle aspiration. 5-FU, fly fluorocell. GA gallium, GIST gastrointestinal stromal tumor, GY, gray, H&E, um, HR, ANP, like all these H&E, HR, don't worry about these. These are just uh, things that you want to look at. Uh, all these right here, I'm not really concerned about. IGRT, METS, uh, NED would be good. No evidence of disease. Um, pap smear, you should know. Papinocola smear, uh, PD, progressive disease. But some of these where... NHL, NSCLC, you don't need to know those. Um, PR, partial response, pro, means protocol. PSA, you should know that. Prostate-specific antigen. RNA, ribonucleic acid, you should know that. Uh, TNM, uh, tumor no nodes and metastasis, make sure you know that. Um, and XRT, or RT means radiation therapy. So know that. So some of these, um, the major ones I want you to focus on, but not every little, uh, like MOAB, NHL, you don't need to know those. Um, you know, 5FU, GIST, GY, don't worry about any of those. Okay, just the major stuff that I've mentioned. All right, good job.